This superstar looks like she's on a mission. Look out, she's attacked from behind. Here we go. Obviously, there's no way to contain the disdain these two have for each other. The so ring certainly can't contain them. Maybe an entire arena won't contain them either. We may be witnessing absolute mayhem, guys. Planted with the bulldog. Bang! Oh! Oh! Mia Yim retaliates. Uh, oh, oh, Bulldog! One-handed. Oh. Face first into the chair. Oh! Oh, man. It seems like she's looking to take things up a notch or two. Yeah, she's definitely got something big planned with this table. Hammerlock applied. What's next? Sit out, Spine Buster. She fights Mia back. Right to the kidneys from behind. Sit out, slam. And what's she gonna do with this table? Set up a buffet. What do you think she's gonna do, Saxton? She's getting fired up, ready to show her opponent what she's got. Taking a moment to let her know who the real superstar is here. That's gonna hurt. And of all the places in this arena to settle your differences, these competitors have found the most treacherous terrain possible. Nothing more harmful than being tossed around on concrete and metal. Straining that trapezius muscle. Bad predicament right here. Scoop slam! And it is just steel and concrete everywhere you look. There is not an inch of safety anywhere. Oh, an incredible sit-up mat slam. And remember, guys, this is a loading dock area. This isn't built with any safety precautions in mind. Say what you mean, Cole. No one's supposed to be up there. Out of the way in time. Double arm lock. Wow. This is insane. Where are these two superstars going to go next? With these two, it looks like nowhere is off limits. German suplex. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Taking head over heels. Can somebody stop this before we see someone get seriously injured? No one can stop them at this point. They've gone too far, Byron. I don't think anyone has the guts to venture into the territory these maniacs. That's it. Calling it by...
Can I give you a compliment? I really can't stand you. You are literally the worst. I dislike you so much, I'd love to see you get absolutely destroyed by Rhea Ripley. <laughs> Again, all a compliment, though. Keep it up. One of the best competitors in the women's division. The following contest is a no holds barred match. Making her way to the ring from Brooklyn, New York, Dr. Quinn. This superstar survived training with Booker T and battled through the Indies before she got the call to report to Orlando. And she leveled up the train alongside icon Shawn Michaels and Beth Phoenix at the Performance Center. And now we're going to see the results of the training. One of the top names in the entire women's division. And she plans on showing exactly why here tonight. Now the nightmare is real. Rash, bold, and unashamed. Brutality has arrived. And from Adelaide, Australia, Rhea Ripley. The first ever woman to hold the NXT UK Championship has gone on to hold the NXT Women's Championship and the Raw Women's title. And let's not forget the first NXT competitor to ever put their title on the line at WrestleMania. Sent a message to the entire world in the 2017 and 2018 May Young Classic tournaments. One on one match with no rules, no regulations. It is quite simply no holds barred. And these two fit the stipulation to a T, Cole. I expect plenty of brutality tonight. Sure. Can't prepare your face for that. Got the leg. Bang and screw. That'll tear your knee up. Bottom upper cut. That'll cost some teeth. Oh, look at the kicks. Just teeing away. Debilitating. Rhea Ripley in a state of distress. Ripley's experiencing some brutality. Aggressive work on that shoulder. Arm ringer applied. And fall by Larry right to the face. Systematic attack on that shoulder. Right in the mouth. Oh, Relentless. God. Enough already. Leg drop. This one is headed outside, guys. Come on, seriously? Does it really have to come to this? She's pushed into the corner. Wow, look at this aggression in the corner. Yeah, boot right in the jaw. Stops Ripley's attack. 
quick takedown there. She's showing signs of slowing now. Yeah, Cole, but at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. Oh, man. Making that shoulder a priority. Oh, shot right to the stomach. Hip attack! Excellent. That shoulder targeted there. Take it to the floor. What's she going to do? With all this in mind, take it from me. Nothing good ever comes from rearranging furniture. No! Oh! That is the attitude of a daredevil. The ability to take risk with minimal trepidation. No fear, absolute reckless abandon. Oh, God, what a shot to the face. The barricade. Oh, right to the back. Face crusher. Driving the face down. The close of this match is just ahead. Yeah, this is a dire situation right now. Sit straight into the barricade. Oh, man, meeting the barricade. Holding the shoulder hostage now. She re-enters the ring now. He's setting up the table. Someone's about to get hurt. No count out as she takes this fight to the floor. Getting back into the ring. Settling on the kendo stick. No good can come from this. Rhea was just a step behind there. Face crusher! Ripley is getting beaten down here. Things look dire for Rhea. The lift German suplex! Ripley avoids the attack. Buster. Cover! And she's able to stop the counter early. Incredible power to kick out at just one. Looking wobbly in the corner. Oh, this will turn your lights out in a hurry. Sick eyes! Good gravy! Face crusher! To the outside. This could get wild. Well, she definitely wants to hurt her competition as much as possible, if the table's any indication. Heading back to the ring. Oh, look at the kick right to the midsection. Cool. Series of kicks in the corner. And she is sustaining a real focus above the shoulders. Attacks in that area could leave her opponent in a daze. She's bringing the table into play here. She is done playing around. Nice takedown. Ow! Making that shoulder vulnerable. Ripley gets her back. Byron, she has no idea where she is right now. And I sure... Both wrists... Got it scouted. She has her target weighed and measured. Middle rope. Nobody home for that one. Oof. Hip attack. Unpleasant view there. Looks like... Setting up for a suplex. Looking to finish things off. Boom! Wow! Oh. 
Oh, there's a kick to the midsection. Here we go. The hip attack. What are we going to see here? Uh oh. Submission maneuver lock. Help out. It's over. All in a nice work. Here is your winner, Dr. Quinn. What an emphatic victory, guys. No contest. An absolute statement by the victor here tonight. What a steamrolling. Cage Match Week is coming up on my podcast, highlighting the most extreme cage matches in WWE history. Historically, they haven't featured many women, but thought you might want to change that, especially considering how tough you claim to be. Here comes a true superstar. The following contest is a steel cage match. Making her way to the ring from Brooklyn, New York, Dr. Quinn. This superstar credits her time on the Indies as a major factor in her success in WWE. Indie experience aside, it didn't hurt to have Booker T, Shawn Michaels, and Beth Phoenix's help along the way. This is what she's waited for. Lightning from down under. She's held the NXT UK Women's Championship and was the 2018 Mae Young Classic winner. And from Gold Coast, Australia, Tony Storm. Tony Storm still young and always improving her game. Tony Storm tended to come up short in the past until she changed her attitude. Yeah, Tony said no more waiting for opportunities and promptly threw herself right into the hunt. This whole place is about to run on Tony time. Byron, this will possibly be a career all three match for these competitors. Yeah, you are met with so many dangers in this intimidating structure. I'm not sure if these superstars are fully aware of the risks 
this cage presents to their livelihoods. What an axe kick. Opponents down. Oh, this is not good. Cover up. Made famous by The Miz. Locked in on the shoulder. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. Oh no, this is gonna end it for sure! Catastrophic Gorakonoclasm! Storm at the complete mercy of her opponent here. Now we see how tough Tony truly is. Roundhouse kick on the mark. Locked in on the shoulder. Storm reverses it. Storm managing to get some control back now. Tony isn't allowing that burst of attacks to end her. One, two. And then yeah. fouls it up with a big one in the face. And she can't put an end to any of the offense coming at her. Yeah, her defensive instincts are all that's keeping her alive. Oh, that stink face. I think I'm going to be sick. Yikes, that'll either wake you up or knock you out. She's taking a beating here. Yeah, this has been grueling. The story of this cage match is getting written on these competitors' bodies. Had that one scouted. That could be the spark she was looking for. Kick to the midsection. Full head of steam. <laughs> Reminding her who all these people really paid to see. We're gonna see here. Uh oh, submission maneuver. There it is. She's working her way up to the top of the cage. It's going to take a lot of willpower to make it all the way to the top. And she's gingerly balanced on the top of the cage. And she doesn't appear to be slowing down anytime soon. A really impressive showing in this steel cage match. Yeah, she looks completely drained of energy. And this one is over. And that seemed like a pretty easy day at the office right there. This is what you get when you have complete confidence and control of the situation. I've been meaning to tell you, we have one open spot left in the Royal Rumble. Know anybody who might be interested? Yes, me. I'd love to get a chance to be in the Royal Rumble. I figured you'd say something like that. Well, here's what we're going to do. 
First, we'll have a six-woman tag match. The winning team will then immediately compete in a triple threat over the top rope challenge. Last woman standing gets the rumble spot. Sounds like a tough assignment. But if that's what it takes, I'm in. I know I'm up to the challenge. The following contest is a six-woman tag team match. On the way to the ring, Dr. Quinn, Mia Yim, and Dakota Kai. She's a superstar who first earned some attention for amazing resilience during her battles on the independent circuit. She was at a crossroads in her career, but that all changed when she met Shawn Michaels and Beth Phoenix at the WWE Performance Center. Saxton, welcome to the ball pit. We're gonna get you some extra tokens, Saxman, maybe some extra cheese. And their opponents, first, from Oakland, California, Shotzi. Shotzi looks like she'd be sticky to touch. Well, she was a finalist on WWE Tough Enough back in. 2015 but was medically disqualified fought hard to earn her way on the independent scene recovered from that medical condition and now she is right where she belongs here in WWE opponent call her daddy should focus on being called winner hey guys I've been practicing this let me know what you think <clears throat> that wouldn't have scared off a mailman is she a rooster uh, you don't get it Well, here comes the girl with the shiniest wizard. A competitor that's shown she possesses tremendous heart from bell to bell. A true inspirational superstar. And from the Welsh Valleys, Tegan Knox. Well, Tegan was betrayed by her former best friend, Dakota Kai, in the first ever women's war games match. All that says to me is that Tegan Knox simply isn't a very good best friend. Saxton? Saxton? I deserve my comment. Saxton? Well, a feel-good story every time Tegan Knox competes. A massive presence in the women's division. And from Rio Grande Valley, Texas. Raquel Gonzalez. Alongside Dakota Kai, Raquel Gonzalez won the first ever women's Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic and were the first ever NXT Women's Tag Team Champions. Raquel Gonzalez, definitely a woman you want in your corner. A true powerhouse of the game, physically outmatches everyone she steps into the ring with.
six-woman tag matches don't get much more high stakes than this. Not with a potential life change. And she goes for the pin. She gets a quick kick out there. She's still in this one. Oh, yeah. She is really getting fired up. Oh, that might have just broken something. Right in the mouth. Oh, Relentless. Gosh. Enough already. Oh, a series of brutal kicks to the body. Made famous by The Miz. Oh, look at this here. Arm wrench. That offense taking a toll on her. Oh, backing it up there. Oh, you know that hurt. And Shotzi is being taken apart here. Shotzi has run into a roadblock. She's on unsteady legs in the corner. Needs to recover. Face crusher. A heel hook locked in. You can almost hear the opponents yelling in agony. in the midsection. I wonder if she can withstand much more of this. She has to rely on her instincts to turn things around. Uh-oh. Oh, the weakening arm breaker. Kick from behind. Ouch. Oh, right in the mat, face first. That certainly wasn't pretty. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Joke slammed right into the knee. Placed into the corner. Walking flip. A non-stop assault from Dakota. Kai is being smart and not letting up. No, oh, right in the mat, face first. That certainly wasn't pretty. She catches Kai with a big counter. Straight forearm. Last ah, snap there. Picking up speed. Penalty kick. Last ah, step up in Zagiri. Big kicks over and over again. Oh, that was creative. Dakota Kai. Detonation kick! And T gets laid out. The cover! Maybe not! The breakup! Ooh, she hit the corner hard. There's a kick to the midsection. Here we go. Hip attack. Hip splash. I'm ringer. Oh, oh, there it is. The Oscar lock is in. It's a missed tap out. What a six-man tag match. Here are your winners, Dr. Quinn, Mia Yim, and Dakota Kai. Nice teamwork by these three to pick up the win. We call a lot of matches, but this one's going to stick in my mind for weeks to come. I agree with you on that, Corey. This one was unforgettable.
Mia Yim, Dakota Kai, and their teammate were up to the challenge in the six-woman tag, but now they face each other in an over-the-top rope challenge for NXT's final spot in the Royal Rumble. These three super talented superstars will have to put their team triumph behind them in this demanding triple threat where it will be every woman for herself. It's simple, guys. Win here or watch the Rumble from home. The last woman in the ring wins. Telling her opposition, you are way out of your depth here. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Boom! Chop block! Brilliant. Right to the back of the knee. Oh, Matt slam. With some attitude. Aggressive work on that shoulder. Oh. Oh, a deafening blow to the chest. That offense really hitting her hard. Yeah, triple threat matches are no cakewalk, and they are showing us why right now. The pain and punishment, it really builds in these type of matches. Consecutive attacks keeping Mia off her game. Mia's on the wrong side of every exchange. Take down. Look at this. Boom. Nice. Right in the mouth. Oh, Relentless. Gosh. Enough already. She's surely revving up, but she better put the rubber on the road already. And now it appears an alliance has been formed against Dakota Kai. What does she do to deserve this? It backfires, and Mia Yim is eliminated. Mia Yim is extremely upset. One of these women will advance to the Royal Rumble. Dakota Kai with an opening. She did it. Dakota Kai is headed to the Royal Rumble. This isn't over between these two. So much was on the line in this match, and understandably, frustrations are high. Here they go again. Who needs the Royal Rumble when you have this? Yeah, well, this isn't going to potentially earn them a championship match at WrestleMania. True, but it would help blow off some steam. Can anyone get this under control? Finally, it looks like they've been separated, but I'm sure this isn't the last these two will hear from each other. She's in a fighting mood tonight. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Brooklyn, New York, Dr. Quinn. You can't deny the athleticism and intensity this competitor brings to the table. She found that little something extra training with Booker T, and it made all the difference. She's going to need that now because there's no competition more fierce than WWE's women's division.
Determination in her eyes. She is more than ready for competition. The HBIC. Head batty in charge. And Mia is always ready for a fight. And from Fontana, California, Mia Yim. Mia Yim with impressive performances in the first two May Young Classic tournaments. Yeah, plenty of big match experience in NXT, competing at several NXT TakeOver events. Ready to jump to that next level with a win here tonight. And you have to respect the work this superstar has been putting in in order to meet the kind of challenge he faces tonight. Without a doubt, we've seen the hard work paying off. You don't find yourself in a match like this without dedicating your time into your craft. All that time spent has her in a good position to pull off a victory here. But across the way, she'll have to contend with the HBIC Mia Yim. Do your sensitive ears even know what HBIC stands for, Saxton? I do, but I'll paraphrase its meaning. It means Mia Yim is all about taking charge and delivering knockout blows. She's about bringing her street toughness right to her opponent's face. Face crusher! Ah, oh, and Yim turns the tables. Ah, oh, side coming. Places her right in the corner. One, two. And then yeah. follows it up with a big one in the face. Mia has lost any momentum here. Yim needs to reassess her strategy. Oh, the stink face. I think I'm going to be sick. <laughs> oh, God. Uh-oh. And a suplex. She had it scouted. Got her where she wants her. Big time. Kicked off. Oh, to the leg. Low blower. This match is wearing her down. They've definitely taken their lumps at this point. Their opponent is not messing around. She seemed to have gained the advantage here. She's executing on her plan perfectly. Stretch. Oh, shot right to the stomach. Oh, Yim anticipated that. Both superstars showing great awareness of their opponent's repertoire. Sit out, Spybuster. Double arm lock. Wow. Oh, Mia has lost any momentum here. And Mia needs to reassess her strategy. Oh, look at this. Neck lock into a neck lock suplex. Arm ringer. Oh, oh, there it is. The Oscar lock is in. Submission maneuver locked in. And she loses via submission. And here is Yim. Statement win here tonight against Mia Yim in this over-the-top rope match. Yeah, it's been heated between these two recently, but maybe it's settled now. From the looks of things, I'm not sure that's going to be the case. It appears Mia Yim is ready to put this all behind her. But she's not. She clearly wants no part of that. Total lack of respect, if you ask me.
Here she comes. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Brooklyn, New York, Dr. Quinn. There was a bit of buzz about this athlete on social media after some impressive showings on the indies, and that earned her a spot to train at the Performance Center. From day one, she knew it was a tall mountain to climb, and she continues to fight for respect as a WWE superstar. She certainly knows how to get a reaction, and she'll get an even bigger one when she wins this match. The HBIC. Head Batty in charge. And Mia is always ready for a fight. And from Fontana, California, Mia Yim. Mia Yim with impressive performances in the first two May Young Classic tournaments. Yeah, plenty of big match experience in NXT, competing at several NXT TakeOver events. Ready to jump to that next level with a win here tonight. And coming into tonight, we know this superstar is focused on creating a stir in the women's division. But across the way, she'll have to contend with the HBIC Mia Yim. Do your sensitive ears even know what HBIC stands for, Saxton? I do, but I'll paraphrase its meaning. It means Mia Yim is all about taking charge and delivering knockout blows. She's about bringing her street toughness right to her opponent's face. Enough already. What a palm strike. Big forearm. Oh. Consecutive attacks keeping Mia off her game. Yim needs to reassess her strategy. Axe kick. Oh, look at the kicks. Just teeing away. Too late. And set him up. Oh, the knee to the face. That's going to hurt. Into the corner now. She's up on that top turnbuckle. She won't be for long. Oh, an alley oop bomb. Everything's going against her now. This is where her grit will be put to the test. That shoulder targeted there. Not where you want to be right now. Absolutely not. Kicked off. Oh, to the leg. Love blower. Crushing impact. Kick to the midsection. Full head of steam. Arm ringer. Oh, oh, there it is. The Oscar lock is in. Submission maneuver locked in. Tap out. And that's all she wrote. Here is your winner, Dr. Quinn. No other way to put it, guys. That was kind of a butt kicking. Never a doubt. Barely a moment's suspense. This one was about as lopsided as they come.